I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to convert equation of a line given in standard form into normal form. The question here is write the equation square root 3x plus y minus 4 equals to 0 in normal form. Now what is normal form? Let me write down that first and then we will continue. Right. So normal form of the equation is x uh, cos omega plus y sin omega equals to p where omega is the angle which normal makes with the line and p is the perpendicular distance or the distance of the line from origin okay so let's begin uh, to simplify the given equation rather transform it into the normal form so we are given square root 3x plus y minus 4 equals to 0. The first step is to bring this constant to the right side. So we have square root 3x plus y equals to 4. <coughs> we have to keep this always positive. In this particular case it is positive since p is the length of normal, I mean length of length or a distance of line from origin. Distance is always positive, right? Then what we do is these coefficients which in our standard form this standard form is kind of like this right ax plus py plus c equals to zero so what we do here is that we divide each term by a square plus p square square root so in our case we have square root three as a and one as b so so that means in our case it is square root 3 square plus 1 square square root that is 3 plus 1 so this is square root of 3 plus 1 which is square root of 4 and which is equal to 2 so we'll divide each term by 2 correct so what we get here is square root 3 x over 2 plus half times y equals to 4 over 2 dividing by 2 each term that's the next step because 2 is square root of a square plus b square now what you get here can be compared with the normal form uh, if you compare let's write down the normal form once again writing omega cos omega first you could think like this cos omega x plus sine omega y equals to p right so if you translate things from here what you get is that <coughs> let me do it here so if you compare these two things so cos with cost uh, the coefficients so what you find here is that this coefficient and this coefficient should be same right so as you can read p is equals to 4 divided by 2 which is 2 cos omega is equals to square root 3 over 2 and sin omega is equals to half correct knowing this we can always find what the angle is so if I say sin omega equals to half then what is omega omega is sine inverse of half right this angle you could always calculate with the standard triangle but let's use the method here sine inverse 1 divided by 2 bracket equals to 30 degrees so we say omega equals to 30 degrees right <coughs> you could always uh, sketch the standard triangle but you could do only for few questions and therefore it is better to follow a method correct so for a special triangle you know the sides are 1 2 square root 3 when the angles are 60 degrees and 30 degrees so you get your result anyway once you get omega then you could write this equation as x cos of 30 degrees plus y sine of 30 degrees equals to p which is 4 divided by 2 is 2 right so we'll write here 2 so i hope you understand 
how to convert a standard equation into a normal form correct how to convert so we took an example to do it and uh, now let's generalize the process so here we have a relation so you're saying uh, relation between normal and standard form that is the normal form this is the standard form so what we did really was if I start with the standard form ax plus by uh, plus c equals to zero the steps should be that we take c to the right side so we have ax plus by equals to minus c and then we want this to be positive, right? So we make this negative. Minus by equals to positive. See, this is very critical. And then what we do here is that we divide each term by square root of a square plus b square. We divide each term by square root of a square plus b square each term right by square root of a square plus b square so that is the step which you have to follow once you do these steps you can write from here relating this equation as cos omega will be equal to minus a over square root of a square plus b square uh, well, that helps you to get omega. Perfect. Uh, you can write sine omega equals to minus b over square root of a square plus b square. And p, the perpendicular distance as c over square root of a square plus b square. Right. Uh, to be on the safe side, I'll always keep this as positive. So we have to keep this as positive, correct? Now at times, uh, we normally do, it because the square root could be plus and minus, you see that. So it could be, the answer could be plus and minus. So depending on which quadrant the line is, so the other thing to help is which where the line is, right? So, so if the line is here, for example, then then both are positive then we take both these as positive both these are positive however if the line is is in this quadrant in this quadrant then sine is positive right sine is positive so what you need to do is to follow your rule we say cast rule so depending on where the line is right so if the line crosses the first quadrant like this in that case both are positive sine and cosine if the line is in quadrant 2 then sine is positive cosine will be negative value and if it is in the other quadrants uh, let me sketch for you like here right or or let's take another ink uh, and sketch another one there <coughs> or in this quadrant right so depending on which quadrant the line is we'll have to select these signs we have to select these signs so you have to make a judgment in this particular case uh, because square root whenever you do you do plus and minus so you could get plus and minus answers and that really depends on the x and y intercepts of the line whether they are positive or negative correct so i hope that helps you to relate normal form of the line to the standard form of the line thanks for watching Feel free to post comments and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.